Hi friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are finally doing another empties video. It's been a hot minute. I am not gonna show you all the empties I have. I mean, I'll show you, but I'm not gonna go through them all because it would just be way too much stuff. I'll show you the bin, same bin as before. Okay, yeah, look at this, look so many empties. I just have not done an, an empties video in so long because I was filming less in November and December and January. I just didn't really have time, but I finally have time. So I'm finally filming another empties video. So let's just jump into it. Cause I know even if I don't do everything, this is still going to be a long one. This is a lot of body products, some makeup, mostly like body, skincare, hair care. That's mainly most of my empties. But yeah, let's just jump right into the products because uh, I have a good amount of them. I have this shampoo from Love Beauty and Planet and it's the coconut water sulfate free shampoo. I did like this one, not my favorite shampoo, but it was a good one. It's a good hydrating shampoo. More of my Crest Brilliance toothpastes. I love these, Blast and Viper Peppermint are my favorite and I'm gonna keep repurchasing them and using them up. I have this face wash from Pacifica. I wanted to try it. It's their Seafoam Complete Face Wash. I thought it was good. It's not super stripping. It's pretty hydrating. I didn't love the feeling of it on my face. Um, it's okay. I probably won't repurchase it. But if you're looking for a more inexpensive face wash that is hydrating, this is a pretty good one. Next up, I have my Mega Babe deodorant. This is one of my favorite deodorants. I am constantly repurchasing it. If it wasn't for the fact that I have a bunch of other deodorants to get through, I would repurchase this one again. But I do have other deodorants, so um, I will probably eventually repurchase this. I just really, really love it. And I think for it being an all natural deodorant, it works extremely well and yeah. Next up, I have some mascara empties. So this one is a sample of the Tartlet Tubing Mascara, which I ended up purchasing a full size because I really liked this one. These two are the number seven Stay Perfect Mascara, which was my old go-to tubing mascara. I mean, I liked it because it was more inexpensive um, and a drugstore tubing mascara, but I cannot find this anywhere. I think they actually discontinued it, which is super, super sad. But what are you gonna do about it? I mean, I'm glad at least I found a mascara that I like to replace it, but I have both of these finished up. And then finally, I have a sample of the Tarte lights camera lashes it's just a mini one i did like this mascara it's not like my favorite volumizing mascara i've ever used but it was a good one and i actually really liked the mini of it because it was just so compact and easy to travel with so if i ever for some reason needed a mini mascara i'd probably get this one again i finally finished one of my milani eyeshadow primers i did repurchase another one but i basically buy one of these I would say every other year so I think one of these lasts me like a year and a half ish I would say and it's my favorite eyeshadow primer love it a lot per usual I have a native deodorant this one is in the cherry and vanilla macaron scent and I really really love this one I want to try the new native like candy ones I'm really intrigued by those scents and I do love native deodorants I just have like three more I think left to finish up so I don't want to buy another one if I have three more but um yeah, native deodorant, constantly using these up. The best scents, I just really like this brand and they're really like comfortable, really nice. Not the best at stopping sweat, but they are the best for like deodorizing, I think out of natural deodorants. So yeah. Next up, I have this body butter from Josie Moran. It's the whipped argan oil body butter. And I really, really love this body butter. I got it, I think as a gift last year. And then, so for this past Christmas, I asked for it for Christmas because it is expensive. It's $34, but it's so good, especially for the winter. There's nothing that makes my skin feel as like moisturized and soft and smooth in the dry, dry winter months. Probably won't repurchase it, but I will probably just keep asking for it for Christmas or birthdays or things like that because it's so good, but it's so expensive. I do want to try another high-end body butter, but because I just know that I love this one, I'll probably stick with this one. But if you have any recommendations, please let me know down below because I am definitely a lotion person. I put it on every single day. I hate feeling dry and it's super, super dry in the winter. So yeah. 
And then I have my Sukin Rose Hip Hydrating Day Cream. I really like the Sukin brand. I've used up a couple of their products before. I've used the night one, the day one. The rose hip ones are my favorite. My skin just really loves rose hip oil. If you have dry skin, I definitely recommend trying it out. And it lasts a long time and it's pretty inexpensive and you can get it at like Target, at different grocery stores. So yeah, I'm probably gonna end up repurchasing a product from them in the future because I just really like the brand. I finished up a lip product. This is a super, super old Maybelline like lip butter. I don't know if you recognize the packaging, you'll know. Um, I don't know what the shade is. The bottom broke off a long time ago. All I know, I think it was Fig Jam actually, if I'm remembering correctly, but this was like one of my favorite lip products and it took me forever to use up, but it's like completely, I mean, like you can't twist it up anymore. I like dug it out. It's completely used up, but I really, really loved it. It's just like the perfect, kind of burnt terracotta shade and it's perfect for like the fall and winter for me. Those are the kind of shades, like basically what I'm wearing today. And yeah, I really loved it and I am glad that I used it up. These are some hand lotions from Soap and Glory. I did not use these up, but they did just go bad before I could use them up, which is why I'm trying to use up more of my products. Um, they're just not good. They're very separated. They smell off. In general, I do love Soap and Glory lotions. Like I love I think I've had a couple of them in previous empties um, and I just did not use these up in time. So it's probably a note to myself not to get this giant of hand lotions, especially when I already have a million mini hand lotions. Should probably focus on using those up first. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. I love this stuff. I'm probably gonna end up repurchasing another one in the summer. It's just a really nice lightweight moisturizer and my skin still feels really hydrated, but not heavy, doesn't feel tacky, it sinks in really nicely, and I just really like the smell and the packaging, so those are all wins, so yeah. This is an eye cream that I got in a FabFitFun box, I believe, and I really liked it. I mostly just really liked the packaging. It has like a pump, and that made it super easy. I don't love when eye creams are in little jars, especially, I don't know why they're so tiny, but it's so hard to get product out of them. I love when they're in these like vacuum pumps. So I did really like this. I didn't see a dramatic difference, but it's a good hydrating eye cream. This is the Body Shop Strawberry Body Butter. I do really like the Body Shop Body Butters. I think they're really hydrating without being super, super heavy. Um, in, I like them more in like the summer, springtime kind of. I got this one mostly because I loved the scent of it. Uh, I have a coconut one that I'm using up right now, but I do really love the strawberry scent and also some of the other scents. They just, they're good. Uh, this I used up very, very quickly. I think it was like less than a month that I used this from when I opened it to when I used it up. So there's not a ton of product in these little containers, but they're not super expensive. So to me, it's kind of worth it. If I want like a body butter instead of just a body lotion, I'll reach for these. Next up is the Cora's Renewing Body Cleanser, the Santorini Grape. I got this in a Fat Fit Fun box a million years ago. It took me a pretty long time to use up, mostly because I just didn't love the texture. I don't think there's anything wrong with this. It's just not really what I go for for body washes typically. So it just has a more like earthy smell. I like sweet smells or like clean smells. And this is just like a little, a little more like herbal, herbaceous. So I didn't not like it. It's just, I always had another body wash that I liked better and it is moisturizing. I just didn't see that big of a difference. Like it wasn't worth the, like the change in formula wasn't really worth the smell to me. And so that's like the main reason why I didn't use it up as quickly. It probably took me like two years-ish, which is a ridiculously long amount of time, but I wasn't using it consistently until I was like, okay, I should probably use this up. I don't think I would repurchase it. Maybe if it was a different scent, but definitely not this scent. Next up, I have a Batiste dry shampoo. This is one of the giant ones and it's in the scent Wild. I got it from a Marshalls because it was on sale and I just needed some dry shampoo. It's pretty good. Batiste dry shampoo is definitely not my favorite dry shampoo. I've definitely used better formulas, but it is a good kind of like, you just need a dry shampoo. You know it's not gonna be bad. It smells nice. I can kind of count on it. It's a good like C. I know it will work. It's not the best, but it's easy to use, easy to go through. I really liked this specific scent and I really liked having a giant can of it because it lasts me a long time, but I probably won't repurchase it unless again, I just really need a dry shampoo and I'm at the drugstore and none of the other ones look good. Next up, I have this Aveeno Apple Cider Vinegar Blend Shampoo. It's for clarifying and shining. I realized that in the winter, I really like using more clarifying shampoos, even though I have I have curly hair typically. Um, 
and my hair is pretty dry, but I have very fine hair. And so in the winter, it's really easy for my hair to look really flat or for my volume to just disappear. I know I have like my hair straight right now, but still even when it's straight, like I just like to have a good amount of volume. And if I use super moisturizing shampoos, the volume is just non-existent because it'll weigh down my hair. So I like to use actually a more like volumizing or clarifying shampoo in the winter and then just use like a heavier conditioner, kind of try to balance things out. But I did really like this. I really like the scent, honestly. And I thought it actually was really effective for what it was worth. I. I do really enjoy this new Aveeno kind of rebrand that they did with these like natural kind of things. Um, and I have a couple of friends that use similar ones as well or different different shampoos from the same line and they really like those. So I don't know if you're at the drugstore and you wanna try out a new shampoo, go for one of these. Okay, next up is my OGX Coconut Coffee Scrub and Wash. I love this stuff. I've repurchased it a million times in my life. It just has the most soothing scent and is something if I just have been in a bad place and I need some comfort, this is what I go towards. Sometimes I like more like fruity scents or like cleaner scents, but if I just wanna feel cozy and warm when it starts to get cold out, this is what I go for every single time because it's just such a warm and cozy body wash and it is really, really moisturizing, feels very luxurious. And I like the little scrub in it, especially again, as it starts to get colder and my skin gets drier. So I really love this. I'll end up repurchasing it at some point, so yeah. I also have another one of those Mega Babe deodorants, so I've used up two of them since the last time that I filmed one of these. I have another mascara. This is the Fenty Beauty mascara. I liked this. It wasn't my favorite, but it was pretty good. Uh, I thought it lasted a good amount of time for a mascara, and yeah, again, it wasn't my favorite, but I didn't hate using it up, so I think that's kind of a win. I think when it comes to classic volumizing mascaras, I do have my favorite. It's the Lancome Monsieur Big, but everything else is kind of just like, as long as it works, it's fine, it's a mascara. I'm not usually a high-end mascara person, I'm usually a drugstore mascara person, but I got this as a gift and I was like, okay, I'll use it up then. I have this CoverGirl Lid Lockup. It's an eyeshadow primer I got when I was, oh, I don't even remember where I was, but I had forgotten my eyeshadow primer and this is the only one that they had in like any of the drugstores in the area. It was fine. It wasn't the worst ever. Like I could kind of tell the difference. Like I would prefer using this over not using it, but my Milani one is so much better. So if you are in dire need of an eyeshadow primer, this one works. It's just not as good as the Milani one. This is a rose hip seed oil from The Ordinary. I love this and I love the squalene. Again, my skin just loves rose hip seed oil. So I really like using this. I basically use like an occlusive, like an oil after I shower, basically every time just to lock in moisture because showering always makes my skin feel extremely dry. So love this one. I will repurchase that at some point. I have a mini secret deodorant. This is one of their gels. I really don't like gel deodorants. I like solid deodorants. This is one of those twist up ones. It's just feels slimy to use to me. And I also, this is the lavender scent. I really don't like the smell of lavender, but this is a good antiperspirant. Like if I needed a clear deodorant, like if I was wearing black or if I was wearing something that you would see deodorant stains on, this is a good one to reach for. It's also nice because it was a travel one so I could just throw it in a bag or something like that. So yeah, it wasn't the worst ever, but just not my favorite scent, definitely not my favorite formula, but I do think everyone needs at least one good clear deodorant just in case. This is a toner. This is the Dickinson's Hydrating Toner with Rose Water. I'm always on the hunt for a hydrating toner. Using a toner has become one of the most important steps for my skincare, just because I do have dry skin. So being able to take off that layer of dead skin at the end of the day, along with like makeup and dirt and everything else, but really like not having to strip my skin with a cleanser, I'm able to use like a more hydrating cleanser that doesn't strip my skin and then go in with a hydrating toner. That way I can get all the kind of like extra little bits and pieces and everything without stripping my skin even more. So I did like this one. It definitely is better for me in the summer just because it does have like witch hazel in it. So it is going to be more stripping than some other toners, but I think for the price, like it's pretty inexpensive for the amount that you get and I really liked it. So I think if you're looking for a good drugstore toner that is not super stripping, this is the way to go. I have this Jergens Cloud Cream 
lotion. I really liked this. I actually was like super surprised by it. I got it just because it looked interesting. Honestly, I just totally got sucked in by the marketing of like cloud cream, but I really, really liked it. It's super breathable. Like they said, like how they market it is that it's supposed to be a really, really hydrating, but breathable lotion. That's why it's like cloud because it's lightweight, but I think it's actually accurate. Like it's very lightweight. I really loved using this in the summer because it's, it sunk into my skin immediately didn't leave like any residue. I didn't feel greasy, but I did actually feel like my skin was hydrated and felt like soft and smooth. So I'll probably repurchase this in the summer at some point. I did really like it. And the scent is like really nice and light and clean and fresh, which is really nice for the summer. This is from TPH, which is the shampoo from Taraj P. Hensin. And this is the Honey Fresh Clarifying Shampoo. Like I said, I like to use a clarifying shampoo. I actually really, really loved this one. I really liked the packaging. I liked how it looked in my shower and I really liked the scent of it as well. It's just a little more expensive than what I would like to spend for drugstore shampoo especially, but it is good. I would probably repurchase it in the future if I was like wanting to spend a little more on shampoo. Yeah, I, I really liked it and I thought it was good. I think this is the second one that I used up fully and it's a good, it's a good shampoo. I mentioned earlier the Ordinary Rosehip Seed Oil and I said I also like the squalene. So this is the squalene that I used up as well and I already repurchased one of these. I have a concealer, it's from Julep. I really love this concealer actually from Julep. I have mine in the shade 110 Porcelain, it's their lightest shade. It's just really convenient because you click it up and then it comes in a little sponge tip and you can just like put it under the eyes. Really, really convenient to use. I think this is the third one I've used up fully. I'll probably end up repurchasing it at some point. I just have a lot more concealers to get through in the time being, but because it's just so convenient and I, it's just a medium coverage, really lightweight, easily blendable formula. So that's why I keep repurchasing it time and time again. I also have another two of the toothpastes. So when I say that I like them, I really like them. <laughs> Another hydrating toner. This is the Versed Baby Cheeks All-in-One Hydrating Milk. I liked this one as well. I would say I like the Dickinson's more for a traditional toner, but this was a good one. I like the pump on this one a lot more because it's one of those that you can just kind of like squeeze down and then use. Um, it is a little more expensive, but it is nice. I do like it. And I think if I was looking for a toner and I couldn't find one that I liked, don't mind Finn in the background there. He's just exploring. This is a good one and I re would repurchase it. This is a mini sample I got from Florja. Florja? It's their Time Filler Wrinkle Correction Cream, which I don't really have prominent wrinkles or anything, but I just wanted to use up the sample. It's good. It, I don't know if it really like, I don't have, I feel like noticeable enough wrinkles that I feel like it helped me with anything in specific, but it felt really nice on my skin. I liked using it at night. It was kind of just an extra hydrating step. So yeah, I like this. Definitely don't think I'll re be repurchasing it anytime soon just because I don't really feel like I need it, but check it out for yourself. See if it makes difference for you. This is the Paracone MD Face Finishing and Firming Moisturizer. This one I really loved, especially for the winter. It is a really nice, like it says firming. It's super moisturizing, but it doesn't feel greasy. It just feels like very, like your skin does feel very like firm and bouncy and just really well hydrated. So I think if you're looking for something, like if you have more mature skin, I definitely would recommend trying this out because I really, really loved it. And I thought it left my skin looking so plump and hydrated and nice. And I will probably one day repurchase it when I can stomach spending the money on it again. This is just a mini sample of the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm. I did really like this. Eventually, I think in the summer I'll be buying a full size of this just because it's so lightweight but truly hydrating. Sometimes those like gel moisturizers can just make my skin feel drier than before, but this one truly hydrated whole day long, did not feel like my skin dried out at all throughout the day. So yeah, really loved this. This is the Saturday Skin Avocado Date Seed Wide Awake Brightening Eye Cream. I really like this. Again, liked the pump and this stuff lasted so long. I mean, obviously you can see how big this container is. It is more lightweight than I like in the winter for eye creams. It's definitely more of like a watery gel-like consistency, but I think it was pretty good. I really liked it in the summer. It did feel really nice on the eyes and I do think it helped make my dark circles look a little less dark, made everything, made me look a little more awake like it says to the name. So yeah, I really like this and I might repurchase it in the summer. I have this NYX brow glue. I absolutely loved this. If I can find it again, I'm gonna repurchase it. I do have the Elf, nope, 
I do have the Glossier Boy Brow now, and I do think that they're basically dupes of each other. Obviously, this is just much cheaper, and I liked the clear version. So once I use up a couple more of my eyebrow gels, I'll probably end up repurchasing this. The most recent thing I finished was a mini of the Laneige Lip Balm. This is in the Gummy Bear like lip mask. And I really love this. I really liked the kind of scent very much. Gummy Bear, really liked it. It's just, it's nice. I like sweet smelling things. So I've used up a full size, a couple full sizes and a couple minis of these. I do love the Laneige lip masks. I think they're just so nice, super, super hydrating, make my lips feel very soft and smooth. And I've been really enjoying this one. And I have a full size of the peppermint one that I can start to use up now. Another favorite has been the Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Hydrating Mask with Avocado. I love this way more than I thought I was going to. I bought a mini just because I was like, oh, I could use some more hydration. But I definitely think I'm gonna buy a full size at some point. I ended up using this almost every single night. I mean, that's, and that can show you how dry my skin is, but really it helped my skin feel so much more hydrated, especially as it was starting to get so much more dry. And, you know, even the humidifier wasn't doing anything. This really helped. I ended up really, really loving it. And yeah, like I said, we'll probably be repurchasing a full size. Then I have this Elemis Papaya Enzyme Peel. It's like a mask slash exfoliator. This is a really, really great exfoliator if you have dry skin because like dry sensitive skin because it doesn't strip your skin. It's not like super abrasive. It's not like a scrub, but it does actually leave your skin feeling like exfoliated and soft and renewed. And it just, I could feel like the dead skin going away. Really love it. It was a really good mask. I wanted to use it up before it went bad. So I'm glad I used it up, but I love it. And I will probably be repurchasing it down the line. Another mask that I really loved was these this Avant Rose Quartz Hyaluronic Sweet Almond Avocado Oil Mask. This mask was another thing that I used. Basically, if I wasn't using the Origins mask, I was using this one. Love this one. I am planning on buying a full size of it eventually. This is, I think, just a mini, but it's just so nice. It smells super good. It smells like marshmallowy and sweet, like kind of floral marshmallow. And it just is, it feels so luxurious and it just makes my skin feel so good and hydrated and smooth and not like greasy and in the morning I feel like my skin just looks so plump and hydrated so really really love this one and then I have another night cream this is the versed recovery mode advanced night cream with fermented purple tea so it's purple um I like the pump again it's just one of those where you can like press down this wasn't my favorite I didn't love the smell of it and I don't think it did anything super special but it was nice I think for the price, it was good. And I don't think I'm gonna repurchase it, but I do like first products in general, so yeah. All right, last but not least, this is the Hemp's Yuzu and Starfruit Daily Herbal Body Moisturizer with SPF 30. I used this up, basically I was like saving it to use it up in the summer. And then I was like, I probably should just use it up before it goes bad. So I ended up using it up. I love this stuff. The Yuzu and Starfruit is such a good scent. And obviously this is for the summer, but I love that it had SPF 30 in it. So if I was just like going out and about and I didn't want to put like full SPF 50 sunscreen on, I could just put this on, especially just like on my arms. If I was just like going out for lunch with someone and I thought we might sit outside, I burned so easily that it was just really convenient to have, smelled really good, didn't feel greasy. And if they have another release of this, I definitely will repurchase it, but definitely in general, we'll probably be repurchasing another one of the body moisturizers with SPF in it from Hemp's just because I do love their moisturizers in general. So the ones with SPF are just so convenient for the summer, especially if you're like me and you wear SPF like every single day. It's nice to have one that smells good and feels good on the skin. All right. And with that, those are actually all the products that I used up. Those were all of my empties. I said I wasn't going to go through all of them. And then I went through all of them. I think there was just a lot more like bulky products in there because I don't think there was actually that many, still a lot but I'm glad I could get through the empties and finally give you guys an update. I think there's a lot of good winter products in there. Per usual, it, just because it worked for me doesn't mean it's gonna work for you. And just because it didn't work for me doesn't mean it can't work for you. Obviously try things out for yourself, see what you like. These are just my thoughts and opinions on everything. Except for the toothpaste, it's just the best toothpaste ever and I'm super biased, but I love it so much. With that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked the video, please like. And if you like me, please subscribe. This is kind of just like a quick rapid fire empties. Let me know if you want empties in the future that are a little more in depth with less products. I can definitely do that. Just wanted to be able to get through all of the things that I've been using up for the past couple months. But yeah, with that, I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you're having a great day, week, month, year, wherever you are, wherever it may be, whatever season of your life that you're in. Yeah.
I hope it's a good one. Bye guys. Valentine's Day is like right around the corner when I'm filming this and I'm just feeling the like femme fatale anti-Valentine's Day vibes, which is funny only because I really, really love Valentine's Day, but that's kind of the inspo for this look. Feeling very Jennifer Gardner's Electra today.